want to warn you, don't make the same mistake as I did. From time to time, when there is no more wind, the water of the lake starts to boil. In addition, you can hear strange noises from the lake ground. You might think that something lives there. And rightly so. A dragon lives under the lake and if it cannot surface, it pours future into the mountain. I was lucky that the lake was half frozen over, so I didn't meet the dragon. But the cow. Jokes aside, the myth about the lake is several hundred years old. In this video, I'm gonna explain you how you can find this mysterious lake. So let's go to Zweisimmen where everything starts and see you there. I know that somewhere there, behind those mountains, is a hidden lake. I saw some pictures of it, but I haven't been there, so let's go into it and discover this wonderful place. Having in mind that I have a long hike in front of me, so I went for some food, water and snacks. This one looks nice. Some bananas for on the way. That's also really important because now we have to walk 3-4 hours and in the mountains the sun is stronger. There is where we started. This is Zweisimmen and from Bern you have to calculate an hour by train to come here. The goal is really to reach that lake and I don't mind how long I have to walk. Maybe it will be dark already then i don't mind i want to see this lake today at this point i had no idea how long i would have to go how many hours were left it wasn't three and a half hours i had a lot longer and that's because i made some bad decisions but more later A little update now. We walked for 30 minutes to come to this spot here. From here you can see it's Weissim and very good. Looks beautiful by the way. And now we have to walk for three more hours to get to the lake. Oh boy. <laughs> we don't want to lose the time. Let's go. Okay, we have to go this way. And there is a cow. That's gonna be funny. Also take it. To go to the lake we have two choices, we could choose this path or taking this path. Of course I will take this one. I think this is one of the most beautiful benches in Switzerland. From here you have that view. This trail goes to the lake but this path here goes as well to the lake and we have to walk a lot that's why I'm choosing this path here this one is a bit dangerous look at this how it's going down I think that one through the forest would be easier to walk if I were you I would choose the path through the trees because this is the best way to go to the lake and also the fastest one here we have to pay attention because this bull is walking here. Hopefully we will not see him. The cow from before seems to be harmless. Now there is somewhere a bull, but I don't know where it is. It's good possible that the bull could be somewhere there, but that's his, his house. I don't want to be too loud here because I don't want that the bull come out. I'm not prepared for something like that. long time since the last update we walk now maybe for two hours and I really hope that we will reach the lake in a half hour or maybe in an hour because I really don't want to be there if it's get dark half an hour an hour really I had no idea I had really no idea that it will take much more longer than an hour from that point it took me about two hours to go to the lake I have also the safe battery on my mobile phone to have light. If the worst case comes and there is no light anymore, then I have to use my mobile. Now I have 60% of battery 
I put the airplane mode and yeah, let's go forward. An hour 35 till we are there. Let's go. Moving forward. Whew. Look at this landscape, guys. Look at this landscape. Here we go with another bad decision. We took again the wrong way. You can also take this path which we took, but go earlier. We started at 12 our height, but we should start at 7 a.m. or 8 a.m. and not at 12 p.m. Because the amount of time is too short. The possibility is very high that it gets dark. And if you don't know the area there, the mountains, and then it's a really bad situation to be there and to find that way back in the darkness. The cool thing of taking this path was that we saw a waterfall and we had to cross that waterfall. Here we have to go through this waterfall. Here we go! Woohoohoohoo! Oh. What a hout, man! Oh, I feel... Oh, shit! Oh. Okay. That was so cold, guys! Really cold! Oh, I can't feel my feet now! That's where we started. Spicy man. It got a bit windy here, so I put on my jacket. From here we have to walk for another hour to get to the lake. Finally, finally. That would be the house. If we, if we can't make it to the city back, then we're gonna sleep. At the moment, I'm struggling a bit because I can't find any signs and uh, the leg should be behind this mountain. We got snow, baby! Now we have to go through this goddamn snow to go to the lake. And now the final moment arrived and we made it to the lake. Not really, that wasn't the lake. Shit, I thought here has to be the lake, but no, we have to go. This path behind this little mountain is then finally the lake. Damn. I was so disappointed at this moment that it wasn't a lake. I'm walking now for a long, long time. I made some bad decisions, guys. I made some bad decisions. That's why I'm, I have so long to get to this goddamn lake. I got really tired. I have to make a little break there at the lake, flying with my drone. And then I'm going to search another another path to go back because that one I really don't want to go back in the snow <sighs> once I fell down and I get till here wet my socks are wet my shoes are wet but now for sure finally we made it to that lake to that mysterious hidden lake here in the mountains I can't believe it that I see this lake oh, oh we made it we made it! We fucking made it!
I can't believe it, we made it to the lake. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Almost six hours of walking to get this view. This hidden lake in Switzerland. past six we finally made it to the lake and we were really tired so we had again really luck you know what with the time I started to think about okay how do we want to go back so I saw a family at the lake there and I asked them what is the best way to go back to the village town to Zweisim and they told me that the way back like this one which I thought about to take but it would take me a long time. They offered me to take me with them to Daimtingen. Daimtingen is like on the other side of the mountain and that was really kind. With the car to go back to the train station of Daimtingen, it took us about 30 minutes and I was really grateful and thankful that we met this family there and this family took us back to the train station of Daimtingen. If someone of you is watching this, I want to say you again, thank you very much, thank you very much, you saved us literally otherwise we had to go all the way down in the darkness in an unknown area that would have been a huge challenge for us thank you again so guys i hope you liked my video i hope you enjoyed tell me something about your hikes your hiking experience give a thumbs up let that let us subscribe here to see more videos of me more videos of hiking more videos of traveling around switzerland and other countries in the world Thank you very much, see you in the next video and stay tuned, peace!